You know, it's easy to become depressed as a freelancer when you're working on Fiverr or any other site, but specifically like I'm a freelancer on Fiverr and I do get depressed and some ways that I've learned to cope with that depression and overcome it is um, are, are these five tips that I'm going to give you. Now, this is kind of like a, a video that I want to make real quick because I know some of you might be struggling out there. I've seen in my comments that you're struggling. So I just want to make this video real quick and talk to you about, you know, what I do. Um, I'm at the library right now, just, you know, getting some work done, you know, nothing exciting, um, just on the go because I have to go pick up my daughter. So I'm kind of like in the area of her school uh, today to do some work. So, but number one, here's my, here's my tip um, is exercise and fitness. So exercise and fitness has been huge for me. And it's not just the exercise and fitness that keeps my mind, you know, it keeps me mentally sharp every day and keeps me in a positive state of mind, a, a positive mental attitude, a PMA. Um, it also has provided me with the discipline, right? So I, I think like your discipline all derives from your physical activity first. And part of the exercise and fitness, it, it involves um, eating right and also dropping all the vices, right? So I'm not drinking any alcohol and uh, I'm not doing any drugs. So I'm just like, I mean, coffee, right? So coffee is a drug, but that's the only one that I do. And I think that like most freelancers are probably, are probably, um, you know, drinking that coffee too. But, you know, you really have to develop that discipline. I think that's going to be number one to clear your mind of the depression. Um, I do a lot of this stuff on you know, on my social media. So like on Facebook and Instagram, why don't you follow me on Instagram if you need some help with like guidance as far as, uh, as far as like uh, the mental mindset and exercise. And I talk a lot about my daily process there. So, um, let's move on to the next one. So number two is, um, don't, you know, don't compare yourself to others or beat yourself up because you're, because you're not busy and you feel like other people might be busy. It took me a little while at first just to get going with, everything um you know when i first started out i mean I, I was new i didn't know what i was doing i didn't have anybody to follow i was just kind of like jumping in the game and getting going so like my my advice to you is this is um you know just don't compare yourself what you need to do is just just um push yourself right like always become better don't be like oh they're they're getting more work than me so i'm i must be terrible or just don't beat yourself up what i would do is just like push yourself to learn more. Like this is the time where you learn more. You learn more about to sharpen your skill level, learn more about how to build your profile to make it look better, um, uh, how to stand out from all your competitors. And then also you want to learn how to market yourself a little bit too. So I would, I would definitely work on that. Uh, just let me read the rest of what I wrote down here. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, so yeah, you know, instead of comparing yourself, instead keep a disciplined daily plan to increase your business, you know, set aside time every day to market yourself. So that's definitely, that's definitely one of the big things, right? So if you follow these two so far, you should, you shouldn't be depressed, right? You should be active and you're busy and you're, and you're working. Um, so, and then number three, number three is going to be set goals and have a long-term vision. So, um, Fiverr is a good start, you know, for your freelancing business and, you know, but you should really have more of a long view and expand past Fiverr. So, Fiverr, you know, Fiverr is a good start, but you should also be setting up your profiles on, on like Upwork and Freelancer. And there's actually a lot of different freelancing sites right now that you can get on. So I would definitely, you know, be a part of that. Um, you know, get yourself involved, get out there as much as possible. And like I said, you know, from number two, marketing yourself, right? So long-term view, like, you know, you got to start treating this as a business and where, do you want to go from here? You know, where do you want to see, where do you see yourself in a year? Where do you want to be in a year? And then where would you like to see yourself in five years? I know it sounds crazy to think that far ahead and, and it takes practice. And this is still part of the mindset that I was talking about. But, um, you know, these are the type of things that will help you stay positive, not worry about like, uh, unnecessary evils. Like, Oh, why is it like this? What, what am I doing wrong? Things like that. Just think about the future. When you're thinking about the future, you move towards the future. Okay. And you're not even worried about what happened yesterday or what's happening today. You're just moving in the direction of that goal, which I think is going to be the, you know, one of the biggest things. I mean, this is what helps me. So I'm really like talking from a, a personal, you know, point of view here. Um, number four. So here's something too, is like, you, you need to start setting up like other income as you're as you're marketing and as you're growing like you should have like multiple streams of income for that one business and what i mean by this like you could sign up for the fiverr affiliate program um and i'll put the link in the description for the fiverr affiliate program it'll be my uh my personal link so if you click on that and sign up um i'll have some special training for you i'm putting together a training for everybody that signs up with my link but 
when you sign up for the fiber affiliate program, you can actually promote yourself like with a link to your personal profile, like your personal gig. But let's say like you, you're promoting it and you get somebody to come over, right? And they come over to Fiverr, they click on your link, they're like, ah, oh, you know, maybe you're not what I'm looking for, or maybe they just want to look around and then maybe they end up buying with somebody else, right? So normally that would be like wasted effort. Wow, I just brought a new customer over to Fiverr and they didn't even buy from me, right? It's like, so you did the marketing for free. Well, actually when you have an affiliate link and you use that link, you get paid when they actually um, make their purchase. So whether they purchase from you or not, you're still going to get a commission. So there's like a little extra uh, money that you can make and you can really, and then you can start your affiliate earning your affiliate earnings, which, you know, these days, like it's just, it's very important, especially as a freelancer, you got to develop those, those other, you know, you want to have multiple streams of income, you know, even if they're little drips, they still count. So, and then, and then it's like getting paid to learn how to market, right? Um, you know, in today's day and age, I mean, you really got to become some sort of a digital marketer, for you know if you're a freelancer if you're i mean because you have to get business right you have to drive business one way or the other yes it's cool to have the be good on you know have a good gig on freelancer uh, on these freelancing sites like fiber and freelancer and stuff but ultimately like you know if you really want to grow and, and and become more of a business owner you really gotta learn how to market so get your affiliate account set up use your affiliate links and and uh, promote that way that'll be better um and then last, the last thing, number five is, you know, find a mentor or accountability buddy. So someone that can lead you, someone that um, has done what you're trying to do and someone that will hold you accountable to where you need to be. So, or where you want to be. So like what I was saying before about the, um, the fitness, you know, that's gonna, that's been the biggest driver for me. Um, that is really like, I've seen just my mentality grow and then I've seen my business grow. So um, you know, down here from nothing to all the way up here where I have business every single day. I'm working with clients now, private clients, I, you know, on monthly, weekly retainers, um, you know, and you'll get there, but let's like, you got to put in the discipline, right? Like sometimes we're not even worthy of the work because we haven't put in the work, right? So the work instills the worth. So make sure you have somebody that can hold you accountable for what you need to do, um, mindset you know you want to do your fitness every day exercise eat right drop the vices um stay disciplined as far as marketing yourself on a regular basis and you know if you do that and and, and if you're having trouble doing that find somebody that can help you do it or if you need help you know if you need guidance on that find somebody that can guide you um that would be good too um like i said you know you can follow me on instagram i do a lot of i do more mindset and fitness uh, posting and content on, on my Instagram. So you can follow me over there if you need somebody to help you along with that. And then uh, once, you know, I'm going to start getting more into the marketing aspects of things of what I do. And then um, there's also a Facebook group that um, that we've started. So it's for freelancers, but we're also going to do the affiliate marketing training. So everything I'm talking about basically, basically will be in that Facebook group. So all you have to do is um, I'll put the link down here, a couple links down there. You can sign up for the affiliate uh, the affiliate training, get your affiliate link set up over with Fiverr, the Facebook group, and then uh, you can follow me on Instagram. And if you need help marketing your your business, like you're like, I don't know what to do about marketing my business. If you need to help a, hand, a helping hand with that as well. Um, I did put a free training down below. It's a free training. It's just gives you some basics, um, some skills that I use in, in marketing my business that I think will really help you. And uh, long winded here, uh, run out of run out of space, um, run out of capacity for my lungs. And like I said, you know, head over to the Facebook group. We'll do a lot of free trainings over there for freelancers. So uh, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.